Hi, this is a presentation and introduction of VCSN 2.5 and more uh, specifically the IPython interface. To launch it, I'd, uh, I ask for the notebook from VCSN. This will launch a web browser and on this web page I will ask for a new Python 3 notebook. This is Python 3 under IPython, so hitting shift enter I can run commands, regular uh, Python commands. Here I'm interested in running VCSN, uh, which I import. First thing you do with VCSN is specify which context, context you will use. A context is a uh, sort of typing expression and automata. My expressions in automata will use letters as uh, labels. Labels are lab uh, letters and we will just compute boolean values. My automata will just compute true or false. Let me name this CDX. That context is named CDX. And I will introduce an expression, a simple expression, A plus B. And I will keep this expression in variable E. There's a number of things you can do on expressions. So, for instance, you can concatenate expressions. You can use the repeated concatenation, that is all four. And here I will be mm, interested in uh, the clean star of E. Let me name this F. F is that expression. And I want to turn that expression into a, a Thomson automaton, which I can do using the method Thomson. You can, it's easy to recognize the Thomson automaton from uh, this uh, rational expression. It is full of spontaneous transitions, and to get rid of them, I will call, let me name this automaton A1, I will call proper to eliminate spontaneous transitions. Uh, that automaton is kind of too complex for the simple expression we started from. So obviously, one would like to minimize it. There's a much simpler way to recognize that language. There it is. You can see that this state is decorated. It is decorated with the name of the states from which it was built. This state fuses states 0, 1, and 3. If you want to get rid of decoration, just strip that automaton. There you, there we are. This is quite a simple example. Let's go back to my expression, E and F. And actually, I will want to make more of these expressions. So let me introduce exp as a shorthand for expression of type CDX. And here, F, F will be A plus B concatenated with A, and actually concatenated with A and E again. So that's a rational expression that denotes all the words on AB, whose last uh, second letter before the end is an A. Thomson automaton, the same, plus the uh, the mandatory A and the A plus B afterwards. A proper automaton. This time it's no longer uh, deterministic. You can see that from 2 I can reach 0 and 3 on letter A. So let's check. Is A1 deterministic? Oh, actually, I did not mean to check on A1, but I meant to check on, let me name this guy A2. It uh, is deterministic fails because I asked something which is not valid. I asked whether an automaton with a spontaneous transition is deterministic, and it cannot be. So uh, hence the error that uh, I meant to ask about. So let me compute A2. Let me ask whether A2 is deterministic. It is not. Let A3 be A1 determinized. What is A3? Of course, you get a much bigger. 
of course you get a de deterministic automaton and again it is uh, decorated with the origin from the different states so remember from 2 I can reach 0 and 3 on letter A which is exactly what I can see here from my initial state which is 2 I can reach state um, 0, 3 and if I get rid of my decoration I get the same automaton but with simpler uh, state names this is not very interesting except that well uh, this this expression expression F requires the second letter before the end to be an A so let me check that if my second letter before the end is an A, the word is accepted, and if it is not an A, the word is rejected. This is called top, it denotes, it denotes true, and this is bottom, it denotes false. So AA was accepted and BA was rejected. Let me go back here and make something bigger this time. Well, let's try with three. I want the fourth letter before the end to be an A. Let me compute again the Thomson automaton. It is much longer, but it's not very complex. The, uh, eliminate the uh, spontaneous transition. Again, we can see the same initial part and then the added uh, suffix. Still not deterministic, obviously. Let me determinize it. It is much bigger. Actually, how much bigger? Let me ask a few infos about A3. A3 has 17, uh, 17 states. Actually, the automaton we have here has, uh, well, or rather, the family of rational expression we have here uh, are growing exponentially with the power of the last two letters, with the number of the length of the suffix. Okay, um, so now we want the fourth letter before the end to be an A, and let me check, it does work. Another way to see this is to ask for the ten shortest words that are accepted, and yeah, that's an A, 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 and then still need an A, and so forth. You can also check that on the uh, original Thompson automaton. What are the ten first, ten shortest words accepted? And that's exactly the same. Obviously, A1 is equivalent to A3, which is what was expected. This concludes the uh, novice introduction to VCSN using the classical examples of Thompson. Um, proper um, proper conversion, that is to say removal of spontaneous transitions. There's a number of other means to, uh, to build an automaton, such as the standard automaton, which is exactly the same as Thompson and then removing the spontaneous transitions, and the most efficient one, the nicest one, which is derived term automaton, which you can call with just automaton. That gives a very, very uh, simple automaton from which it's easy to recognize our original rational expression. If you want to know more, you should definitely go to vcsn.lrgv.epita.fr and if you want to play with the online uh, sandbox, go to this address. You will have exactly the same kind of IPython environment to play with without having to install VCSN on your machine. Thanks.